Hi, it's Joel with the Fancy Farm. We wanted to show you our little surprise. So we got our netting and we have moved our chickens out and we have gotten our first four eggs from our chickens. So we got the poultry one or the premier one poultry net up. So now we're able to move our chickens on this pasture every day. And so this is a fresh spot they were just moved to this morning. The goats have been here just a couple other days ago. And so they're just kind of scratching through the manure a little bit. And uh, we want to show you our little pen and what I call my mini cooper. So let's go for a little tour. All right, so this is the chicken yard and the mini cooper coop that Dree and I just built. And all our chickens are quite enjoying it here. Um, so it's got a door closed like this. we got a latch so we can lock them up at night. We just leave the bungee on there during the day. It opens the door. Chickens can wander in and out. So this is the little mini coop here. What we got on the sides, is we, we've just wrapped a tarp over the top here. And then on the sides, I had this white vinyl roofing panels that I've had kicking around and I wasn't sure what to use them for. I really don't like it as a product, but it works excellent here. So when we're moving the chickens, we can stick them in and it helps kind of shuffle them along as we move this to the new spot. And then during the day, we drive these stakes in the ground and we can stick it like that. So it allows airflow underneath, but still provides them shade, gives them a little place to go under. So we got the two wings on either side. So this is eight foot, uh, eight foot by eight foot long, basically. It's eight by eight square. And we have about 30 chickens in here and they're pretty happy. So that's the wings that allows a little airflow but still gives them shade. We'll go inside and take a look. Hey girls. So inside here what I've done is I didn't have this this thing was completely built out of recycled uh a recycled Joel Salatin style coop. I've kind of changed my feeling on those and I go strictly to these hoop coops now. But because of the width that I made it, none of my roosts were, I was able to recycle them. They were all too short. And so I cut some, we have some aspens here on our property. And I cut these aspen roosts here, put them through. And then I put a lower one here. So they hop on this board, hop on here, and then get up into the roosts. Because they have a clipped wing, they can't fly as well. And some of them are able to jump all the way up here. But we put a little bit of a, little bit of a, a handicap sort of a attachment here to help them get up and down. So we have our eight nesting boxes, four down either side. They're recycled also out of an older hoop coop that I built way too big and it was way too heavy. And so we got a little bit of alfalfa in them and uh, we move this every day. So I'll, I'll show you how we move it. So at the back we keep a little... Two-wheel dolly. We got wheels down here on the back of the of what I call my Mini Cooper. Everybody wants a Mini Cooper. So you would usually do this with the door shut. I haven't tried it with it open, but... So you put the dolly right in here. I'll get you to look right here. That's the whole point of that center support. When you tip the dolly back up, it lifts on that board and lifts the coop up. And now all the weight is on this dolly and those wheels. And we just move it along. And I gotta go a little higher to get over that water. And it just kind of shuffles the chickens along into their new spot. And you can just set it down. It's very easy to move. I'm being gentle. They've already been moved once. But we can move this to a whole new pen very easy. So, yeah, we're kind of excited. Our, we've done the hoop coop design before. This is the first time we've been really successful in liking our design. Now, I'll show you how we adjust those stakes because I moved it now. Now the sides aren't open. So, I'll put this back. And then... You come around to the back here. I have a spot right here that I keep a hammer in. You just slide the hammer out so you got it in your hand. I just tuck it into the tarp. And just give the stake a shake. I just shoot for about 12 inches away. You just let the plastic fall. It doesn't mean much. It just doesn't, you don't want to get knocked over. And then you place the wing on top. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. So yeah, we just, we wanted to show you our little mini Cooper and our happy hens. And I made a comment when we moved them on the pasture. I said to my daughter, I said, I bet once we move those, those hens on the pasture, they'll start laying eggs. And sure enough, the next day, 
we had two eggs in the grass. They're just little ones, but they're starting. So really excited about our flock start. We just want to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching.